Welcome to The Peak, where becoming your best self is our goal. I'm Ashley Russo, and on today's show, we'll take a look at an organization helping women in need, and then a new technology that may help cancer patients. And finally, how two organizations came together for the good of our community. Stay tuned, this is The Peak. Our community is full of inspiring women. Let's hear from one young entrepreneur about the business she helped bring to life. Creativity and collaboration thrive here in the Lehigh Valley, and it's important there are people out there to capture it, like Amres from Lab 212. Let's take a look. Lab 212 is a media production company here in the Lehigh Valley. We specialize in videography, photography, film and film production, and we've just started getting into drone work. We all met in college. We went to Lehigh Carbon Community College and we were going to school for communications and TV film. We kind of all met in a lab, and not a science lab, but an actual computer lab at college called Lab 212 and that's where we got our name. And it started with a podcast actually. We have a podcast called The Poorly Edited Podcast. We have a team of extremely creative and hardworking people and they just make it so easy to show up to the office every day definitely not always the easiest thing to be in this industry and be a woman and be a person of color and be a young person. I've kind of got all three going for me there sometimes. You have to be very self-aware of that and just try and kind of bulldoze through all of that kind of hate or negativity or disrespect. At the end of the day, I think it's just people misunderstanding you, not knowing enough about you. So the way I try to combat that is by being extremely positive upbeat, sometimes giving people the benefit of the doubt, but trying to be really firm and knowing my worth. The reason I love doing what I do is because I have an amazing team to work with. I love my team. They're absolutely incredible. It is so important to us to collaborate and create with one another. So creativity is kind of the base of our, our heart and soul. Creativity, collaboration, and being able to foster a sense of community, not only within our company, but with the surrounding area. It is so great to see young female entrepreneurs doing awesome things in our community. I'm Katie, and that was a peek at the Valley. Great job, Amras and the team at Lab 212. Up next, an organization providing restorative care for exploited women. Check it out. People don't think sex trafficking happens in the Lehigh Valley, but it does every day. Traffickers prey on the vulnerable. They look for women with financial problems, physical disabilities, foster kids, and runaways. They befriend the girl buy her things, they may even offer her a place to stay. For about six months, I lived seeing multiple men a day while my trafficker took all the money that I earned. It was a cycle of feeling guilty about the situations in my life and wanting to not feel those emotions and then using again. Truth For Women is a nonprofit organization that works to end sex trafficking in the Lehigh Valley area of Pennsylvania. The Truth Home is a place where women can begin to heal. We provide food, clothing, and assistance with medical care. Our full-time staff and volunteers provide 24-7 care, including life skills, trauma counseling, and much more. We are not a shelter, we're a home. And when the survivors are ready, they move into transitional housing. We help the survivors get the resources that they need to begin living the life that they dream of. I'm working and I'm helping people like I always dreamed of. And I want to continue going to school and bettering myself. Truth For Women provided me a place to heal and provided me a place where I could slowly get back everything that I had lost and I felt the weight of the world fall off my shoulders. I felt like I had a reason to live again. There is hope. There is help. 
Our vision is to empower survivors to become thrivers. Visit us online at truthforwomen.org. What an essential organization protecting women in our area. And coming up next, how St. Luke's is providing supplemental screenings to women high risk for breast cancer. Stay tuned, this is The Peak. This new form of MRI for breast screenings is not only effective, but it's fast. Let's take a look. When you're a woman who is at risk for breast cancer, oftentimes there is just not enough that you think you can do to ensure that you are healthy and staying healthy and you wanna take every opportunity to do any studies adjunct to mammography that will help ensure that you are in good breast health. Fast breast MRI is performed in about 10 minutes versus the conventional full diagnostic breast MRI, which takes around 20 minutes, so it is much quicker. And it's only obtaining the most select and most important sequences needed for the detection of breast cancer. Fast breast MRI is new to St. Luke's network, and we're actually offering it to start at our Upper Bucks campus in Quakertown. Our goal is then to expand the service to other hospitals geographically and strategically located throughout the network to ensure all women have access. At St. Luke's, we try to stay at the leading edge of the technology curve. We want to be able to offer the most advanced imaging tests available to our patients to improve their health. It's easier now more than ever to stay on top of your breast health and doing a fast MRI or an automated breast ultrasound adjunct to your normal mammography each year just gives you that added confidence that you're okay. At St. Luke's, we work as a team to provide the best possible care for every woman who comes in for an imaging exam. We have robust communication between all team members and we work well together to provide the best service possible. A woman having the fast breast MRI study will be met by the dedicated team of breast MRI technologists and then her study will be interpreted by one of our fellowship trained breast imagers. It's a humbling opportunity to be involved in women's health care and we strive to provide the best clinical service available. Joining me is Dr. Michael Lee, a radiologist at St. Luke's University Health Network. Dr. Lee, thanks for joining us. Great to be here. So tell us a little bit more about this fast breast MRI. What is it and what's the benefit to patients? Fast breast MRI is a supplemental screening exam that's based on proven technology. It's basically a pared down traditional breast MRI, which we've been using for decades. As its name implies, it's fast. Traditional breast MRI is approximately 45 minute scan time, whereas a fast breast MRI is 10 minutes. Essentially pared down to answer the question, is there breast cancer? Well, certainly people think faster is better, but who is really a candidate for a fast breast MRI? When do you know that that's the right technology for you? So fast breast MRI is available to any patient who wants to have supplemental screening, an additional screening test to see if they have breast cancer. Patients that would probably benefit the most are patients with dense breasts. We know that mammography with patients with dense breasts can miss up to 15% of breast cancers. So it is peace of mind. Well, you mentioned screening and what really is recommended for screenings? You know, we hear different things in the news and we know that there are so many different technologies. Where should a woman start? So at the age of 40, for a patient who has no family history of breast cancer is when they start screening. It's important because screening mammogram is the only modality that we have that's proven to decrease the deaths from breast cancer. What other types of screenings are available in the St. Luke's network? We know about mammography and 3D mammography, but what else is available to help patients get screened in a more efficient way? Right now, we have something called automated breast ultrasound basically a screening ultrasound for both breasts, where we do pick up more cancers. In terms of patient care, we have all fellowship trained breast imagers, we have very experienced staff, and we have a sensory screen, which basically is an environment that's calming and easier for patients. You know, speaking of alleviating fears, what is your approach and what is your recommendation to women about why it's so important to get that annual mammogram? Because sometimes people will say, well, I don't have a family history, so I'm just going to skip three or four years. It's no big deal. Why does that annual screening really matter to you and your colleagues in your effectiveness as physicians? Finding breast cancers that are small and no negative. So the first place that cancer potentially goes is to your lymph nodes and your armpit. We know from studies that 
the best probability of treating cancers is when we find them at that early stage. So if we wait longer than a year, sometimes that cancer can grow to size where it's not stage one or two. That's really good information for women to know. So thank you so much for telling us a little bit more about breast health, fast breast MRI, and everything available at St. Luke's. Thanks, Dr. Lee, for being with us. Thanks, Rob. Stay tuned. You're watching The Peak. Our region is full of artists, musicians, and entrepreneurs. Let's hear from this rock star on why she loves the Lehigh Valley. Hey everybody, welcome to Unscripted with Russo. I'm Ashley Russo and I am here with Kendall Conrad and she is a local musician, but I actually hate to say that because you are on a fast trajectory to being a nationally world known musician, I believe. And we're gonna get to say, we grew you right here in the Lehigh Valley. Aww, so thank you. Well, thank you for joining us. Yeah, thanks for having me. This is really cool. Yeah, it's exciting. Yeah. It's exciting. And we kind of have run into you in various places around the Valley, Kendall, um, seeing you perform uh, right around the corner from our office mm -hmm. at Lost tavern which yeah. we're so lucky to have but you do lots of other things so before we get into that I want to get to know you a little bit better where did you grow up so uh, I grew up in Pottstown okay. Pennsylvania it's about an hour from here um, and it's also like an hour from Philly so it's a great spot to be at to get to like all of the major hubs in Pennsylvania like King of Prussia like I'm super close to everything so it's a great spot to be but necessarily there's not uh, there's not a lot to do in Pottstown itself as you get to go to bigger venues and tour more places and visit places. Tell me what keeps you coming back to the Lehigh Valley and what you think of this area. God, I love this area so much. I tell everyone, like, this is my favorite. I think it's my favorite part of Pennsylvania. Um, just because, like, it's it's just so vibrant. And there's so much to do here. And the, the people here, like, everyone appreciates not only music, but, like, art in general. It's just a, it's a very... Um, like a bustling community for art like people are super into like there's like poetry slams and like comedy at the steel stacks and there's there's all sorts of like other independent things. films and yes. horses and come blow glass and yeah i think it's i i agree with you totally yeah. it's, it's amazing to it's me. not just music yeah i i just and i i feel like i they have that in philly too but i don't know it's a different I don't know. It's a di it's a whole different animal here in the Lehigh Valley. I don't know. I just I just I love it so much. I feel more creative coming up here. I don't know. It's just it's very inspiring. Well, yeah. we're so lucky, Kendall. We hope you continue to play. We wish you the best of luck. You have been incredible. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. For the full interview, visit youtube.com slash the PTV. And don't forget to subscribe to Unscripted with Russo on Apple, Spotify or wherever you get your podcasts. Each year, senior and ambassador Girl Scouts have the opportunity to achieve their gold award. Let's see how one young lady helped out a nonprofit while doing so. I think it's important to give back to the community because in order to have a better world, we should be helping others. The Volunteer Center is an organization here in our community that connects the community. We connect volunteers, we work with nonprofits, typically anywhere around 400 nonprofits a year in being a resource to them. So whatever they need from volunteers, from education, from supplies, et cetera, that's, that's our role in this community. We are the connector. Gianna is an ambassador Girl Scout and part of being that level of Girl Scout, she would need to achieve her gold award. And she was able to identify the Salvation Army as having a need and turn this storage closet into this amazing, wonderful therapy room. I've been a Girl Scout for 13 years. When I saw this ad on the Volunteer Center Leah Valley, I felt really connected to it. This project, it stood out to me because I like helping people and like helping children. Because when I get older, I want to be a elementary teacher. The project that I completed was a trauma-friendly therapy room for foster kids. These therapy rooms, specifically this one, is amazing. And it will be a place where families and the children can work together trying to connect and build the relationships and connections and help them achieve the greatest level of healing. It's really critical for these rooms to be so comfy 
and homey so that the kids can feel relaxed and that they can build the rapport and be able to work on their specific goals with connection and relationships. I'm thankful to the Girl Scouts for giving me this opportunity that I will never forget. I love Girl Scouts. I was a Girl Scout myself and my daughter was and I was a Girl Scout leader and I just love that Girl Scouts are able to influence our community and to make changes and to be able to learn and to grow and to really be awesome leaders by going through the Girl Scout program. Volunteering is all about feeling good and one of the things that I really like about Gianna's story is the whole idea of youth and to see how young people are inspired and engaged to come out into the community to do great things. It's just awesome to see and we know these are the future leaders of our community. I love seeing the Girl Scouts give back to the communities where they live. Way to go, girls. For more information on anything from today's show, go to our website at thepeaktv.com. Thanks for watching, and remember, every day is an opportunity to be your best self. This is The Peak. It is planes, trains, and automobiles here on The Peak today. <laughs> Up next, an organization helping women something. How St. Luke's is, is that supplemental in the second part of the sentence? Yeah. Okay. Do me the first part. What an essential organization to provide. What? Oh, my God. It's talking to us. What an. <laughs> oh, got that right in. It's actually legit comical. The Peak TV is a production of ASR Media. Like what you saw? Make sure to subscribe to our channel so you never miss another video. To see more of The Peak TV, check out our website, subscribe to our YouTube channel, and catch us on WFMZ Channel 69.